Hey, so I'm, uh, hey everyone, I'm Alfred, welcome back to Friday Night Roguelikes. I'm trying out this sand dune thing, and eventually it spawns this thing called a ziggurat. And this guy showed up, and I wanted to record it because... Contents, dialogue, it's important, right? You! So it speaks, what kind of creature are you? I used to be like you at first, but then the sands took me. Now I'm but a handful of quartz grains bound by primordial magic. I have knowledge, more importantly, insight. We are unstable, fleeting, and so is the land. More amorphous than the ever-shifting sands. You are the least elusive of us all, we need your help. At last, I've been waiting to hear this. No one seems to realize what happened. Everyone pretends like things have always been this way. I truly want to help someone. We speak of different things. Your constant existence. Sand and magic can do a lot, but we need to persist long enough. We barely take shape before we're gone again. I want you to follow me down the path of heat and sun. You should become one of us. A new chance for the desert. A layer of sand that persists, lively and vast. We shall fill this cold void to the brim. Overfill it, even. You want me to become sand? No way. We'll all fall apart in due time, sure, but I'm not going to go down that easy. And I will resist now. Ah. Shelter. Replaced by magic shield, which ignores the effect of the desert. And it hurts magic shield. Wow. Oh, yeah, we also have one free resurrection. Cool. I used to resist it, too, when I was alive. I regretted it when I was reborn. So shall you one day. Yeah. So yeah, we uh, we have uh, some of those now. Big health. More villagias. Let's kill that. So yeah, other than that, the use of the ziggurat is or not ziggurat. The use of the sand temple is pretty good. Yeah. And then this thingy up here, the little... Yeah, this thing, the ancient crypt. That's a very interesting um, trade-off you get. So yeah, with this, we can... Yeah, 96 health. Sand dunes. And it now has 95 health. And also, I guess that like the left side is close enough to the the tower that we can be yeah yeah so the max hp watch my hp can't change with that thing now it just straight up cannot anymore yeah well yeah those guys are for real those guys are for real real forest and thicket cards oh i see war camp Oh, we can put more watchtowers down. We don't have any warehouses, though. I guess, will more warehouses improve this? Meat stew. Nice. We now have 8 out of 8 again. So yeah, I guess that upgrade helped me. Additional 5 HP when passing through a village. Ooh, that's clean. That's nice, yeah. Hmm. The battlefields are nice. I'll keep them in. So yeah, we've just been stuck at stage two now. And we want to throw this down as early as we can so we can start taking advantage of it. So yeah, we're at... 296 max, but those guys don't have souls. Yeah, and then what we want is we want to build up that. 
like that. Yeah, cool. Oh, is it because we're fighting next to a village? Because in that case, if I could only get villages to spawn more. Because as is, villages only spawn every so often. See, so yeah, it's a big gamble because, like, we have no guarantee that our that our health is going to go up unless we are killing things with souls. And I want to save this Oblivion card, because, like, it would be smart to skip some fights, but not to be, I think. Using these and getting more sticks is always good. I guess it's just like fighting in a village. It's super good. I have so much stuff that just benefits me while I'm standing in a village that like, if I could legitimately have this whole thing be village, I would. Make that a blood grove, kill everything faster. click. I remember that I can also hit spacebar though, so don't worry. About that. So this is now 50 and 65. Yeah, wow, that's fantastic. But let's burn you. And... <sighs> that was stupid, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. We have the ability to kill stuff that is... Yeah, we can kill stuff in a village pretty easily. But we do need the we do need to kill things with souls. Cuz these things have souls. And so you can see my health going up by a couple points every time. Three max HP, and we get a free resurrection too. Yeah, so I think stacking as many things on here as we can is probably going to be good. And there's the ziggurat. Okay. We could kill it. Is this one I'm fighting next to the camp? That's okay then. That's still good. That's a great in fact. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> and then it's every seven sand sand tiles you place that a thing shows up. Goblin camp. Spitting out so many goblins. Hey, so this go this run's going really well. I've actually taken out um, meadows because they kind of they're kind of a liability because they need something to put next to them, which means that you need way way more planning in order to do anything with them. But like, why make my health bigger when I could make the enemy health smaller? And so now we're running into a thing where like. If I'm continually putting all of these things down, I'm eventually going to have to deal with the stuff. But there's a perk that you can get that gives you a full hand of Oblivion cards. 
to let you delete things. And then it gives you the ability to heal yourself from these Oblivion cards. So what that actually means for you, the player, is if you're seeing a lot of bandit camps or goblin camps or ziggurats or whatever, you can say, enough of that, thank you, and you can just burn all of them. Big upgrades. And then you don't have to deal with it. It's, it's, it's literally a non-issue. Um, and then you're also healing off of it, which is also good. And so, like, now that I'm getting into the finer details of it, this game has a fascinating gameplay loop where the player, everything is in the player's hands, you know, and it is really always up to you if you want to make things harder. And it's kind of only up to you. And there's a lot of, you know, back and forth where you have to, like, kind of throttle it down and throttle it back up. But, like, I keep getting big health bonuses from all my mountains. I'm relying on my other ways to heal myself. And then I've got three Oblivion cards. Because I assume that there's going to be a building that's, like... It's the big guy's thing. I don't know what the boss for this area is yet. Kind of looked like a lady in a dress, but maybe it's the Lich. Maybe he's not, like, not dead or something. I don't know. So I've also been using these road lanterns, which are a little cheap. Let's save that, actually. Let's put it there. And then I can get a stick as I go through it. Yeah. See, the road lanterns are really not bad, because they only take up one spot and they go next to the road. And... They just give you more chance to run around, do more loops, take more time, you know? And that's really nice. And like, this is a, this is going really well. But like, I have such a good chance to get at the boss now that I kind of don't want to let that slip away. I kind of want to just go for the boss, you know? And, like, I know I've got so much goodies in my pockets, but I can get all those goodies back later. Burn it. Just, why bother? Last time, Flesh Golem, you gave me a lot of really good stuff, so let's see about it, huh? Damn. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then I can get more blood groves going there. And I've got one oblivion card left. The goblin camp will be a problem. I could use the oblivion card on that. I don't really want to. I could, but I don't want to. Oh, got another oblivion card. See, the thing is, is that what I really want is... What I really want is to be able to, like, completely noid everything that the, the boss is going to shoot at me. Wow. Filling me up here. I don't think I can fit anymore without triggering the boss. I'll finish this loop out. The thing is that I really don't want to lose this Oblivion thing, because that's really good. But yeah, almost all of my gear is into the double digits now. I've got three perks to run around with. This one's super lame and cowardly, but it means that I won't lose it all. Keep this one. My health isn't doing bad, and I'm going through the area that's letting me regenerate anyway, so. That 
That one's pretty good. Hmm. I'll take more regen. Cool. Could have put one more down, huh? Let's do it. Two more. Wow. Okay, maybe I can just do this pass then. I've got four potions. Yeah. That bar fills up slower than I really thought it would have. Crazy. Maybe I shouldn't do this pass. Yep, there it is. Incursion. Alright. Now I'm going to get a huge boost of health running in there. Because, yeah, look at all this stuff in between me and there. There's a lot of villages. This is what I wanted. Like, if this could all be villages, I think I'd be very happy with that. All right. I guess I should put it there. Like, it's not like people are spawning, but, like, where else can this even go? Put some more rocks up in my mountain range here. Yeah, the way that I'm just, like, filling this up feels... It feels really good to me, you know? Hmm, I like the more reading on that one. Ooh. Buenos dias. Big shields. We get more regen. We get more damage. We lose out on a counter and defense. We will take that. Yeah, picked up some sticks. Yeah, the, the debuff on the... Because all of the like buildings that you can put in, like the arsenal or the, the witch house or whatever it is, they're all supposed to have a debuff, something that makes them unappealing. And the debuff for this one is that it makes your armor worse, but I really haven't been feeling that. <laughs> like, I feel very confident about it. These are levels I've literally never hit before. It could be because I've gone around 11 loops. All right. Oh, also I learned that the, the little guy won't help me out in the fight. Huh, you're cool. Could you please stop? So it's you who's responsible for all this mess. Stop doing what? Stop doing all this, resisting, fighting for the old world. He'll erase anything anyway. Sorry, but Tao must go. So a mysterious him again, huh? I expect you're not going to explain what you're talking about, are you? Why wouldn't I? I'm talking about God. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. He created myriads of stars, galaxies, and... Oh, uh, what a man. He created everything, and now he is destroying his creation. That's the most absurd thing I've ever heard. And trust me, I heard a lot of absurdities. Why would God want to destroy the world? That's what I would call a silly question. Do you think we have the right to discuss God's motives? He's God, for God's sakes. If he has decided this to be done, it means there is a reason and meaning to it. Instead of all your rage and anger, you gotta thank him for the life you've had and spend the time that's left to bid the universe goodbye. But you're... He's here. He just exists. No, wait. That's not right. If all that is true, then... Well, there you go. Yeah. Why am I able to restore this world piece by piece? It's very slow, but I'm able to do it. Does that mean your God is having second thoughts? So you got after all if I can go against his will? Yeah. These are just empty words. You're simply trying to find a reason you're unimportant to say you're unimportant no. I feel sorry for you in this world, but your efforts are in vain. You can't stop the harvesting scythe of God with a single blade of grass. It shall end you personally, by word or by force if need be. Maybe a blade of grass won't stop a scythe, but it can get into your shoe and hurt like... And metaphors are not my thing. Let's see how well your God can protect you. Ooh, I'm really taking a pounding here. Dying on camp is better, right? So she's reflecting my bullshit back at me. Damn. 
Oh, my cheese and my shoe nails. Shit, damn. All right, well, we've colored up on those at least. Let's see if we can throw anything down here. Farms appear to just go forever. We can build another watchtower. Library. Good. <laughs> ah, this pleasant smell. I can't do that. That actually gives me a headache. It's like double vision. You ever had your eye knocked out of your head? That's what it feels like. Ugh. This, because you're, as long as your optic nerves are still connected, then you can still see out of your eye. Um, this pleasant smell of smelling those sheets and dried ink. The smell of books, to put it simply. Look at us. I'm a scientist. Knowledge is my weapon. Go traveler, your weapon is a weapon. And in spite of all the differences, we pursue the same goal. To study and recover this world. Theory, knowledge, learning. We shall discover this world anew, my friend. Cool. What does that... What does that give me? All right. Lost so many goodies. Oh, hey, we can put more on now. Cool. So I'm taking less damage from vampires, so it might be good to slot vampires back in. Hmm. Bookery. Replaces three of your cards at random, collapses when it replaces 20 cards. Weird. And the Maze of Memories. Does nothing takes up a lot of space. What's the point then? I'm well, not taking less damage from vampires, so. All right, so I've been playing for like another hour. <laughs> Pretty lame, I know. Um, lame to make no progress, at least. Uh, which is what I have done. I've not made. <laughs> Which is very unsatisfying, I'm aware. Believe you me, nobody... <laughs> nobody wishes I was doing more than I do. Um, I'm doing this thing where, like, I have a thing. I have a badge back at home, the little silver thing. That makes it so I take less damage from vampires. And then, because I can fight vampires with more impunity, I have vampire setup and then because vampires will stop the uh these guys the little time watchers yeah they'll stop the the wardens of time from spawning you know the fucking langoliers over here and then they can uh i can make sure that i will be in less danger here this way you can try to limit the spawning over here. Even though I know that the goblin does just spawn automatically. See, and then I can cycle through the days quicker. So I think having the vampire right next to it is what turns it into the crap village. Um, I think at least. So as long as I have it on the farm square, it'll be fine. And then also I can have my guys come in and help me out on, on these things. So I like saving oblivion. This is another thing I do. I like to save oblivion. Take a few more in there for whenever the ziggurat spawns speed it up even more i like to save oblivions for when the ziggurat spawns because i can control the other enemy locations but the ziggurat will put a mummy randomly wherever and so like here for example i can say i'm just gonna have to deal with goblins over here and put down a grove to combat that and then make it into a a bloody grove And that's fine for me. I don't I don't care that much. Oh shit. Whoops. Stupid. Um 
And then because I have the vampires, or no, then because I have the, the grove chewing through enemy health, I, I'll kill them quicker, essentially. Also just oblivion in a way. That's pretty good. See, this rock should have gone up there. Thought I'd already built my mountain. I, I've been getting achievements intermittently for like XD amount of things done and like. Oh man. You know? Several beacon. Over here is locked down. And here it's locked down. But not here. Let's lock it down on this side. Yeah, over here. Because I don't want to deal with vampires and goblins, but I can deal with goblins and time wardens. I think so, at least. More real cronies running around. Yeah, more rocks to make my health go bigger. One of these days we're gonna get another thing. I really would like to have a sorry, a thing isn't it? We're gonna get another ziggurat spawn. Yep, there it is. Like I so desperately need them to Like <laughs> I want them to fuck off, but I, I don't get enough oblivion spawns. I could eliminate all of my time guys. Whoa. Big shakeups. Oh, yeah, I've also got these. And these are doing some of the work killing for me. Which is nice. Wow, I'm getting a lot of those. And I complain about it too much to not do it. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> They're safe through here and here. And here. And then here and here. So I've got like almost over half of that cover. That's pretty great. I think the boss might get stronger based on how many things you have or don't have. Okay. Loading me up pretty good. This might be a good attempt. Hey, I don't know if this is <laughs> coming to you a few moments later. I don't really know if this is going to be that good of a uh, that good of an attempt. So I think I'm going to quit out whenever that's possible. The vines are doing work for me at the very least. But yeah, my health's getting real, real low. Also, annoyingly, I lost my really good uh, weapon. The thieves can actually um, steal from you now. Just showed up. Damn it. Oh, that's painful. I lost that painting. Anyway, I've built a lot more stuff do this put it here wow it's a forest yep forest solid wood it's truly unbelievable yeah i get it i know what a forest is shining example perennial and evergreen flora you're making fun of me 
That's how a log or plank looks before it dies. So fascinating. Definitely making fun of me. So what does that grant me? Probably could have read. Forest. Lumberjack's domain. Unlocks forest and thicket cards. Oh. Let's take a look at those. Forest. Hero attack speed. Interesting. That's cool. Oh, I can actually check my cyclopedia here. Oh, well. That'll do it for this episode, then. I've been trying to hit 30 minutes for um, these Friday Night Roguelikes for this little spree of Loop Hero. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Friday Night Roguelikes. This has been Loop Hero. I recommend this game greatly. It's a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, see you guys next week. Bye.